It's been an amazing recovery for a hit and run victim. A week ago, a Pasco County 18 year old was in critical condition. Tonight, he is speaking exclusively to Eight on Your Side's Chip Wasowski about the accident. I'm just glad he's, uh, he's recovered. Yeah. We got a family to be here for it, too. Michael Eberl's parents, Nathan and Veronica, invited me into his hospital room, even videotaped this interview with their son. He was supposed to leave for the Army on Sunday, his goal to be in intelligence. When I join with military intel analysts, I'll be on the computer a lot, and I'll be getting information together, and they'll be giving that information to people to do missions, uh, as far as I'm concerned. And it's just, you know, helping make a better difference in the world. But those plans were delayed when the driver of this gray or light colored minivan hit him and left him for dead. The accident happened along Mile Stretch Road here in Holiday. It was early in the morning on September 11th. The driver of the car still has not come forward. Is there any possibility that this driver didn't know he or she hit someone? Uh in all likelihood, I would imagine not. I can't say what was in that person's mind that night. But however, when your car impacts something, especially like a human body, for example, typically we feel it, we hear it. Michael, too, wonders why the driver didn't stop. And he doesn't remember the accident. He's bruised and bandaged, but is keeping a good attitude. This is a picture his mom sent of him up and walking. And friends have been stopping by in droves. We had about 30 kids that came yesterday for the day before. He can't wait to get out of the hospital, and he just hopes the driver who put him in here comes forward and does the right thing. In Pasco County, I'm Chip Osowski, News Channel 8. If you have any information about this accident or the whereabouts of the vehicle involved, you are urged to call the Florida Highway Patrol. And